Hammock backpacking is friggin' awesome. Well, hello there. Uh, it's Chris here from Step Massive and back on another backpacking trip. Today I'm out at Henry Co State Park in Northern California, my favorite local backpacking spot. Saturday morning, uh, it's early February, a little winter trip. We're gonna do two nights in the hammock. Feels like a spring trip, but it is the dead of winter. First part of this trail is all uphill. I haven't really done a whole lot of cardio in the last couple weeks. Um, I did a backpacking trip three weeks ago. And since then I've kind of just been sitting on my butt other than uh, doing kind of like upper body weightlifting and stuff. I haven't really been doing much for the lower body. So this uphill climb, it's not very steep, but I'm feeling it a little bit. Uh, site for sore eyes, the almighty picnic bench. We're at the very top of this peak now, come up about three miles, done the majority of the climbing for the day. And we've got a little picnic bench and another little makeshift bench here. Ah, overlooking a nice little view. Ah, so I love having this bench here. It's in the shade under this big oak tree here, overlooking the beautiful view. Definitely nice to find good places to take a break. That's something that I kind of had to force myself to do as I've developed my backpacking career is uh, there's always a tendency for me to kind of just want to keep charging through a day and get to my destination, even if I'm thirsty or I'm tired or I'm getting too hot. And uh, really, you know, on the last few trips, really been trying to force myself to take breaks. Just sit down, take the pack off, whether it's on, you know, a rock or a log or even on the ground. Um, cool off, drink some water, have some food, rest the legs for a few minutes, and then, uh, you know, get back up. I always feel better after I kind of make myself stop and take a five, 10 minute break and recharge. So here we got a couple options on where we can go with this trail. Both of these two trails, this one up there and that one along there, uh, end up at the same place. So if you're feeling energetic and vigorous, you can do the uphill shorter trail. And if you're feeling relaxed and chill, you can take the longer gradual trail. And today I am definitely feeling relaxed and chill so I'm going to meander on along the scenic trail. And here we get the views from that side trail. So definitely worth it to come a little further on the side of the hill instead of going straight over it. Okay, so now we've reached the very top of the peak. We're up on the ridge that we're going to be following uh, the rest of the way. And up here we get a nice view now of the valley uh, on the south side of the park. And this is the view that I'll be seeing tonight uh, when I set up camp at night as the sun goes down. Um, there is some, you know, some city down in the valley right down in there um, that as it gets dark, you know, all the city lights turn on. So then you get this beautiful scenic view um, but also you get to see the lights of a distant city down below, which is a cool contrast, something I really enjoy uh, seeing when I camp up here. Uh, 
All right, so we made it to our spot. This beautiful little grove of trees back here. Got an epic view of the valley and the mountainsides uh, in front of me, behind you guys. I'm just a little bit off the trail, but um, I'm up on this hill that's kind of like out of sight from the trail. So you can't really see me up here. And uh, I'm gonna get the hammock up. I'm gonna pitch the tarp, mainly just to have some shade from the sun for the next few hours before the sun sets. And then I gotta do a little trek over to a pond to uh, get my water. I'm hoping that there's water in the pond. Uh, we did just have a pretty significant storm a couple weeks ago. And uh, so I'm fairly confident I'll be able to get water over there. And then we'll get back to camp, get into the hammock and uh, spend some good quality time relaxing. All right, so we got the tarp pitched, we got the hammock hung. Uh, it took me a little fiddling. This is actually a new hammock um, I'm using for the first time. It's got a slightly shorter ridge line um, and I'm actually using a different suspension system as well. Um, so I had to kind of fiddle with it a little longer than I normally do, but we got everything pitched. Got a wide open porch mode with the tarp. Um, this side's coming down and then I've got this corner actually pulled back because um, most of my views are out this way. So I'll leave that open. Uh, at least until uh, it gets dark, probably just leave it all night. So with that out of the way, I've got about a quarter mile trek over to grab my water. And that is the next step for this afternoon. All right, we have reached our water source and not the freshest, clearest type of water around, but it's water. We'll run it through the filter and uh, it'll be good as new. I'll do for today all right got some water filtered back at camp brought along a little chair on this trip this is the chair zero first time using it but so far it's super comfortable I mean it can't beat the comfort of being in the hammock I'm really just taking it to test it out um, if I ever go tent camping I am definitely bringing this thing if at all possible because it's pretty it's pretty darn comfortable Yeah, I woke up just in time to catch some pretty colors in the sky as the sun is just about to set for the beautiful rolling hills. What a view. Just snuggled up here in my quilt. Comfy chair. Man, this chair is like way more comfortable than I expected. That back support. Uh, be able to kick my feet out. It feels nice. Feels nice. All right, I'm gonna cook some food. Cooking, cooking food. Okay, we cooked up the apple crisp, cinnamon spiced apples with granola and graham crackers. We are having dessert for dinner, and just eating this now as we watch the sky do its thing after sunset. And I'm going to be following up my apple crisp with a cup of apple cider. That's right. I'll see your apple and I'll raise you another apple. Mmm. So sweet. I almost feel guilty eating this right now. It's so sugary. But delicious. And so this is what I was talking about where... You can see the lights of the city come on as the sun goes down. And uh, it looks a lot more brilliant in person. You can't really see it all that well here on the phone camera, but those city lights are twinkling down below. It's a cozy feeling. The 
Well, slept really good last night, uh, as usual. Had a great evening uh, in the hammock, watching the city lights sparkle in the distance. Kind of slept in this morning, got up at about 9 a.m. Pretty solid, and uh, just cooking some coffee now. Taking my time, getting uh, getting going this morning. So I've been trying to go a little a little healthier with my backpacking breakfast lately. Um, I usually go with uh, the default pop tart or the organic pop tart, um, along with some other stuff. Just kind of like. I don't know, it seems like Pop-Tarts are like the popular thing a lot of backpackers bring. So that was always kind of my default. Um, but the last few trips, I've been switching things up and I am going with a couple uh, whole grain English muffins. These are raisin cinnamon English muffins. They're pretty bomb. Uh, two of these is about the same calories and macronutrients as uh, two Pop-Tarts. So <laughs> these are pretty tasty and they are much healthier. And then um, still going with my standard, some dried fruit. Today I've got a big old chunk of dried mango that I'm going to be snacking on throughout the day. And then uh, as usual with my breakfast, um, I also have a little thing of a uh, protein powder um, just to jumpstart my day with some protein. I've got my uh, Fancy Feast homemade alcohol stove on this trip. Lots of videos on how to make this. You pretty much just take a standard cat food can and punch some holes in it. So just one last shot at the campsite before I pack everything up. Again, we're way up here on this ridge, just overlooking the beautiful valley and the rolling hills of Henry Coe State Park. And then behind it too, you just got these rolling groves of trees. There's my water bottle system, my filtering system. Got these groves of trees. So many good hanging spots back here. Back on the trail again. Got a bright and early start, hit the trail at 11 a.m. But as long as I made it before 12, I can still technically say I left in the morning. For the most part, the trip today, about four miles, uh, it's mostly kind of just like gentle rolling hills. Um, not too much elevation. There is one creek crossing that um, the last time I was out here around this time of year, uh, it was about shin deep, so I had to uh, you know wade through it and get my shoes wet so I'm curious to see how the water level is today So we've arrived at what is officially known as Wilson Camp. And it's just a little outhouse here. And then kind of this little shack shelter thing over here. We've got some shade. There's a picnic bench. And um, down here, you can't really see it too much. There's like a little abandoned building. Uh, I'm not sure what that was originally used for. If it was some kind of office or if... Somebody actually lived there like way back in the day. I have no idea. There is a spring uh, up on the hillside. You can see it kind of up there. Um, usually running water year round. So this is a good place to stop and get water if you're out here. 
course the uh, outhouse is always nice or even a trash can so today we're having my favorite Sapporo Ichiban ramen super tasty and then uh, I've also got a packet gourmet ramen rescue with chicken so it's got some dehydrated chicken and some vegetables we're gonna add in there as well I think I might also throw some hot sauce in there too some jalapeno pepper sauce all right let's get some hot sauce in there Oh yeah, whoa, all right. We're making it really spicy. That was a little more than, than I wanted, but I think that is okay. This hot sauce is relatively mild. Couldn't resist making another pot of coffee while I'm here. I mean, why not? So I had a nice little lunch break and a coffee break back there and back on the trail. Got about two and a half miles till we get over to the pond where we're gonna camp tonight. So I was out around this section of the park uh, a couple of years ago. I was out on a backpacking trip. Uh, I came across a bobcat on the trail. And so far on this trip, haven't seen too much wildlife, no bobcats, uh, just a few birds and did see at least one lizard. All right, so here we have the creek crossing and it looks like it's not really that deep at all. Should be able to hop along these rocks right here. And actually I just remembered, uh, it was a couple years ago at this creek crossing. In fact, I think it was the same trip that I saw the bobcat. Um, right here at this creek, I saw a wild boar. So that, that was cool to see. Um, although unfortunately, I think the, the boars are kind of a problem here at the park. I think they're an, an invasive species and the park is actually trying to get rid of them. This is actually one of the cages that they use to try and catch the uh, wild boars. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works and doesn't look like there's any bait in it right now, um, but they have a handful of these sprinkled throughout the park. And over here, catching our first glimpse of Red Fern Pond. And there's the pond. Not too deep right now, but plenty of water to get a day's worth to drink. Okay, so here's our setup for tonight, night two. Another porch mode as per normal. And so as I mentioned earlier, uh, I am using a new hammock on this trip. It is uh, the basic netless hammock from Dutchware. It's the 1.0 thickness, 11 foot gathered end hammock. I have the full length, 20 degree incubator under quilt and inside I have my 20 degree enlightened equipment revelation top quilt and then the tarp I'm using today is the war bonnet superfly so we got our setup um, I've got a couple hours left until sunset I think I'm gonna go try and climb up onto a ridge uh, behind me behind the pond and see if I can get a, a view of the sunset, bring my chair up there, some snacks, dinner, and uh, just chill up there for the next couple hours. Okay, so the plan is I'm gonna backtrack just a minute or two back along this trail, and then I'm gonna hike up onto this ridge here and get up there and see if I can get a view over the other side Man, we are definitely gonna get some views up here. Only about halfway up. Look at that. All right, so we made it to the top of the peak. 
This is pretty awesome. Got a near 365 degree view from up here. With the sun gonna be setting down before us on this side. I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna try walking over there right onto that little peak. All right, well, I think this is gonna do it for the spot for today. Bust my chair out, sit up here. Got about an hour until the sun sets, but I've got plenty of food. I've got some tunes on my phone. There's no one else around. Oh yeah, this'll do, this'll do just fine. Oh. All the clouds in the sky, the sunset's probably gonna be pretty epic tonight. Yep, it's that time, time for some hot chocolate. There we go. Keep you updated if I have any coyote sightings. So the wind is picking up a little bit and the temperature is definitely dropping. So. I think it's time to activate bundle up mode. Ugh. And a final shot of Red Fern Pond as we head back to the campsite. Spooky. What kind of strange, scary man lives out here in the woods? Oh, it's a hammock backpacker. Home sweet home. Well, good morning. Another beautiful night in the hammock. Slept super well. No wind. It was just totally silent all night. It's about 9.15. And uh, gonna get some coffee going. Yes, sir. It's so still out, I'm not even gonna use my windscreen. Which you almost always have to use with a alcohol stove. Show you the view I got out the front here this morning. Nice little wooded area. You can kind of see some uh, some mountains back in the background through the trees. 
Ah, uh, nothing like hanging in the hammock in the morning and sipping on a hot cup of coffee out in the forest. Cooking up pot number two of coffee. Definitely one of the benefits of hammock camping over tent camping right here is just the chair. You've always got a chair. You don't have to go search for a rock or a log. All right, let's see how fast we can pack everything up. And go. Man, I've been doing a pretty steep descent for the last three quarters of a mile or so. I forgot how steep this section is. Uh, I looked at the topo map pretty quickly and uh, it descends a thousand feet over a mile. So pretty good grade. Been having to go pretty slow and got about one more quarter mile of it to, to get down to some flat land. So just making our final descent as we head down the trail down there and then we'll finally connect down with uh, that fire road out there and once we hit the fire road then it'll be mostly flat for the last mile or so back to the trailhead beautiful all right let's continue on so steep all right we made it down to the fire road and just have another pretty easy flat mile to go and just taking in the pleasant scenes of the foothills and this little valley and just really enjoying the last few moments of the trip. All right, guys, so we're just about a couple minutes from the parking lot. So that pretty much wraps up this trip. Thanks so much for coming along with me and checking out the scenes and the views out here at Henry Coe State Park, Northern California's largest state park. And with that, stay well, stay strong, and I'll catch you on the next one. Boom, boom, doom, 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 doom. I've got a selfie stick. I'm a teenager. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Whoa, the sun's way over there. Okay, there we go. Hey, check that out. Is that cool? Time for old Chris to have a seat and shut his yapper. Oh.